My name is Cecilia, and today I present to you part of my PhD thesis. Um, I'm, I'm a currently a PhD student, and uh, uh, Orchidaceae is the largest monocot family, comprising more than 27,000 species, what represents more than one third of all monocots. Evidence supports that the family originated on Australia around 100 million years ago and colonized in the Neotropics via Antarctica. As the temperatures were warmer and the continents were still in close contact at 90 million years ago. On the Neotropics, the most species rich Orchidaceae subfamily originated. Epidendroigi currently has more than 15,000 species. Okay. <laughs> Instead, studies support that the diversification of epidendrology is related to the origin of something of, of some key innovations, as the epiphytic lithophilic habit in the serosa pollinaria. Another important factor was the distribution of tropical mountain ranges, as after its origin, epidendroid is colonizing all continents. Uh, this widespread distribution was attained due to, a, to the expected excellent dispersal abilities of orchids, compared by their dust-like seeds. However, this raises the orchid diversification conundrum. The dust-like seeds might have allowed orchids to have frequent long-distance seed dispersal and to colonize a broad geographical range. But at the same time, it should work against differentiation within the species and to automatically speciation. Studies, studies have shown that the diversification of Andean orchids is related to the orogeny of this cordillera. However, the Andes are not the unique neotropical mountain range harboring orchids diversity centers on the neotropical region. The Campus of Estes, localized on the South America, on East South America, sorry, is also a diversity center for certain groups. The Campo Rupestre is a shrubby herbaceous vegetation associated to outcrops and shallow sand soils on ancient mountain tops. It was recently recognized as an old climatically buffer and infertile landscape, a kind of environment also present in Africa and Australia, and always present high species richness and endemism. In Brazil, the Campo Rupestre presents a high disjoint distribution, as you see here in, in red. Um, possible one of the main causes of its high species uh, richness and endemism, as restriction in gene flow between populations uh, could lead to differentiation and speciation. Uh, to give a dimension of its plant diversity, it presents near 15% of Brazil's plant diversity in an area corresponding to 0.78% of the country surface. Uh, despite its, its main center of diversity being on Asia, uh, oh, Asia Pacific region, the Neotropical Diversity Center of Bubophilum is on Campus Rupestre. Uh, different from many, from many other Orchidaceae genera that had their centers of diversity on North Andes. Uh, studies had shown that despite the comparable low number of species of this genus on the neotropical region, 62, uh, the diversification rate is constant through all its distribution and the number of species in each continent, continent is clade age dependent. These factors make Bubophilum sectididactyly a good model to study the diversification of orchids, as the group have a widespread distri disjoint distribution on the mountain range, occurring in almost all campus rupestre subregions and also in other sky islands environments in East South America. Uh, the first two species to diverge in this group have a clear delimitation. However, other four species of this section form the Bubophilum exaltatum species complex, 
and presents continual morphological variation. For simplicity, during this presentation, I will refer to each of the six species sampled by the first letter of the specific epithet. Uh, I mean, species W, species T, species P, species F, M, species E, and species I. Um, as some of them also occur on north and south uh, regions of the campus of Pestris, I will also inform about the range of occurrence. Uh, say in an example, northern E or southern E. Google film site didacti have a specialized roots to grow directly on rocks. Uh, and they are pollinated by flies. Uh, as happens to other orchids, they are they have these very tiny seeds. And uh, it is suggested that the, the group had a rapid and recent diversification. Uh, so understanding the factors that have contributed to its diversity can be a challenge. To try to overcome this difficulty, we use the next generation sequencing tools with the objective of increasing phylogenetic resolution. Uh, in our work, we tested the following hypothesis. Despite their small, wind dispersed seeds, gene flow on orchids is limited by environmental discontinuity. Thus, the distribution of genetic variation in Ophobophilum psychodidactyly will reflect the geographical disjunctions of campus of Uh Also, we tested if the following species presents a north, north and south lineages and for each of them, if these north and south lineages form plates. Uh, for, for that, we sequenced 164 individuals from 46 putative populations from Campo Rupestre and other sky islands environments from East South America. We used the DDRED methodology to obtain hundreds of loci and we tested for genetic differentiation with PCA and re reconstructing phylogenetic hypothesis with SPD quartets and rats and pelly. Um, on the PCA, with all individuals from all populations, the first axis segregated uh, the W species uh, from the other populations, as expected by the expressive morphological differentiation among these groups. The second axis segregates the northern and south, uh, uh, southern regions of the species W, here and here, and here and here. Uh, and also uh, the northern species M from, from the other taxa. It's important to highlight that it was not possible to distinguish the southern species M from the core of the complex. On a PCA, including only the taxa from, that were superimposed on the first PCA, southern species T was, uh, was the most differentiated group, also as expected by the morphological differentiation. Surprisingly, the next, next most differentiated group was one population uh, previously recognized as species E but that shows morphological sign that can be a differentiated lineage. <coughs> oh, 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 here, okay. Uh, north, not northern, sorry. Uh, species I and southern species P are also segregated from the other groups. At this level, the southern distribution of all the other groups uh, namely, Southern E, Southern I, and Southern M are not distinguishable. On a PCA, including just them, uh, the distribution of genetic variability also reflects the geographic discontinuity of Southern Campus Rupestris, as South and Middle Rings of Southern species E can be recognized. However, Southern species M was not distinguishable. Grouped on the first axis, but differentiated on the second axis, 
are populations from isolated fragments found on the species west distribution. A population of, of southern species I can be distinguished from, the, from southern species M and southern species E. This, not this. Uh, but cannot be distinguished among themselves. With them, we calculated our last PCA that shows a differentiation among two geographical regions occupied by the, the southern species I. So here and here and here and here. Uh, the groups previously shown on the PCAs was also recovered on the phylogenetic analysis. However, challenging our hypothesis, species E and species M were, were shown polyphyletic. Another surprise was that one of the northern species E was shown as the sister group of species T in agreement with the PCA that showed that this was a highly differentiated group. Uh, the ramification pattern of uh, the other populations that are part of the Bubofilum exaltatum complex, here marked in white, uh, are concordant with the geographical distribution of these populations. As expected, we observed south and north clades both for Bubophilum exaltatum complex and for Bubophilum verde. Oh, sorry, down. Uh, the Rax and uh, the Rax and Mial phylogenetic reconstruction <coughs> using individuals as tips highlighted the stru structural character of the distribution of genetic variability. Here, it starts, it stars, marks uh, phylogenetic popula monophyletic population, sorry, um, on the phylogeny and on the map. As a large number of population is shown as monophyletic, it suggests elevated differentiation between them. Okay. Uh, main lineages are concordant and generally well supported by the two phylogenetic methods we used. However, the, the relation among these lineages have low bootstrap, indicating that they are supported by a small number of characters. Even with the use of hundreds of markers, uh, even with the use of hundreds of markers, suggestion that the speciation was rapid, um, leading to incomplete lineage sorting, or uh, the occurrence, or also the occurrence of hybridization or introversion. Uh, in conclusion, our study uh, gives support, support to the hypothesis that despite their small wind seed dispersal seeds, gene flow on orchids is limited by environmental discontinuity. Um, also, the hypothesis that species E, I, and M, M and double, as currently circum circumscribed present northern and southern lineages was supported by, by our results. However, only southern and northern lineages of species W form a clade in our analysis. This result suggested that at least uh, species E and species M, as currently described, are polyphyletic species. Uh, in this way, our, our study supports that Genetic variation is geographically restricted in a species complex widespread through the campus to the campus complexity, a disjunctive environment. Uh, rising questions about why the small seeds of orchids do not promote high interconnection between these sky islands. Rarity of long range dispersion, local adaptation, and dependence on ecological interaction are possible explanations that might be explored in the future. That's it, thank you so much.